You know, yesterday here in Massachusetts was Patriots Day. And for lots of people who have appreciated what Patriots Day has meant over the years, it was obviously not the same. No marathon to cheer on, no Red Sox game to watch while you should have been working. These aren't small things to miss out on for people in Massachusetts. Like everybody else, I was missing these things yesterday as well, but I also got an email that helped me work through that. I'm going to keep some of the details vague so it remains anonymous, but I want to share a little bit of what it said with everybody. The email was from a woman who's going through a lot. She has a, st a spouse with stage four cancer and an adult child living at home who works in the public sector, who's out there every day doing their job. So not, not only is she worried about getting the virus herself, she has some special people in her life who really are at risk. She wrote to tell me about the support she's gotten from her neighbors. Small acts of kindness, like dropping off protective gear for her husband so he can wear that when he goes out to get his cancer treatments. Strangers are giving her child their masks just in case her child didn't have access to those at work. And in the middle of all this, she wrote to me just to let me know that they're doing okay and they're getting by. I know we were asking a lot of people when we put the stay-at-home advisory in place in the first place. And I know we were asking a lot from people when we ordered certain businesses close temporarily. And I know that we all miss sports, gatherings, meetings, friends, all the stuff that has always been a presumed part of our daily lives. But we all need to remember why we're doing all of this. We're doing it so women like that woman who emailed me on Patriot's Day can still get her husband into the hospital for cancer treatment and do so safely. And we're doing it so public servants like that woman's child can do their job serving the community as best they can under the current circumstances as safely as possible. I know yesterday was a hard day for many, but it's a lot harder for many of our neighbors, those who are caring for the sick, are out there every day serving the public. On behalf of them and so many others who are stepping up day after day in the midst of this pandemic, let's all just keep up the fight against the virus. And I want to thank you again for all that you're doing. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Lieutenant